I did a video yesterday about lighting your torch and turning it on and off. And I got a lot of comments from people saying that I turned the torch off wrong. And they was trying to tell me the correct way. I've been in the welding field about 35 years and I formed some bad habits. But the way I cut it off yesterday is a recommended way to cut it off because I teach at the college and you got to go by safety. I'm going to show you out in the field how we, we do it in the field. You know, They turn this on. They light it. Adjust it. Adjust your flame. And in the field, once we finish cutting, what we do, we just turn this thing off. Okay. But the recommended way when you're teaching this, I'm going to go ahead and like this again. Until that black snut go away. Then I adjust my flame. And the reason why we teach this in the college to turn it off like this, first you turn this off. And then you slowly turn off your acetylene. What if you turn your acetylene all the way off and it's still leaking like this? And you hit this. You still got a leak. You hit the and you you it goes out. Now you got acetylene still leaking. And if you lay this thing down in a bin or somewhere and you walk off, you still got a slow leak going. You still got a slow leak going. So when you come and get ready to use this and you fire this up, it's already filled that bin up. Now you got an explosion. So that's why you want to do that. See, I'm going to like this. See, I still got a small leak and it's turned all the way off. I'm just doing this for an example. So when I turn this on and I get ready to turn it off, turn I turn this off first. And then I turn this off to make sure that the gas is not still leaking. So when I turn it completely off, you shouldn't have no flame. So that lets you know you do not have a gas leak. And a lot of people don't do it because of all the smut and all the smoke. But that's the way I teach it. And if you guys don't think that's the correct way, leave a comment and let me know.